we're live. Ah, back ah, from the thank section. you all for sticking with us. Yeah. Welcome back to the Hollow Throne, uh, the continuation of the same world as Blades and Pepper Shakers, and a few other things I've run. Um, just a few years in the future. Uh, when we future. left off, yeah, future. When we left off, the party basically for the whole night they were tasked with escorting uh, Gretch the gnome with a cargo load of suspicious ominous unnamed goods to a large city and uh, no questions asked just get it there point A to point B unharmed uh, also without the goods being compromised and you'll all be paid 400 gold we're doing uh, only all right so far right <laughs> last session <laughs> you uh, right. had a confrontation with guards but you were able to keep them from searching or doing anything and uh, ended up posting up for the night so uh, unless you had anyone had anything that they had to do that night uh, I know I'm assuming Chuck would have found some time to split away and do his yeah uh, I gotta recast my spell right uh, so I imagine you would have done that probably would have don't worry i'm playing real office, loud walking out to the cart and you know making sure it was good for the night hopefully uh, my quality instrumentation right. provides sufficient distraction but uh night passes it's the morning time gretch is like well now that we've stayed here the night we're pretty much a half day away from getting into uh solva or solvis let's do it and uh yeah let's head out he's yeah. kind of eager to get out of the town Yep. Let's um, get moving. Yes. Right. So you go outside. Uh, Conrad sitting on the back of the cart. Just still guarding, not saying anything. Noise. Cart appears to be uh, un untouched. Uh, you go and start moving the cart. Mm -hmm. And you find the body of a small kid underneath the cart. Ah, God damn. Uh -huh. What? Uh, Who put that there? Dead? So that's not good. Conrad looks at it and says, guard. Conrad can't talk. Oh, well. He Conrad. just looks at it then. <laughs> well, Sisters. let's throw uh, Conrad number 10 in the back of the cart and get along on our way. Okay. Put him Jesus way in the back, Christ. Ben. Way in the back. Wait, did Conrad number 10 just fucking Breaking Bad, this little kid? No, no, no. No, the Conrad little kid is Conrad number 10. Uh, oh. It seems like someone else Breaking Bad at number 10. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, is it the same kid from the stable, by chance? It is not. It looks different. Oh, oh no. good. I mean, I yes, but also no. kid to his death. Good job, Conrads. <laughs> but someone else got murdered, and they're trying to blame us, I think. So we should be weary. You, you're getting the impression that the kid tried to look at the cart in the night, and the skeleton he got nine. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what I figured. Just he got nine. Okay. In. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still willing to blame someone else. You do that. <laughs> Whatever I, works for your I conscience. do throw Conrad <laughs> number nine. Uh, the your back skeletons of the cart. don't communicate, do you? Or to you, do they? I can give them instructions, but that's it. That's what I thought. You yeah. don't get any yeah. feedback. So you yeah. No. No, you just told them the guard they're sitting there. There's a dead body of a kid underneath the cart in the morning. Um Hey, at least they had the decency to kick him under the cart. Yeah, you seem to have uh made it out before anyone else noticed. And yeah, uh, you throw it in the back. Or a little Timmy. Uh, <laughs> Gretch is like, Jesus Christ, guys. What's All wrong? Right, we're leaving. No Look, questions, you want, Gretch. You wanted your cart safe. This is the price of keeping your cart safe. Uh, when we stop on for us now. brunch, I, uh, <laughs> you know what? I got a thing I got to go do. Stop I, I got a <laughs> thing brunch. I got to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you make it out of the town, uh, still with this kid's body and, uh, for brunch, you'd probably be about an hour away from when he thinks you'll start coming towards uh, what he calls the docks to get into uh, Solvus. Uh, he explains that the, the city is floating 
Uh, there's parts of it that are touching the ground, but most of it's like above ground raised with magic. And so there's a section of the city called the ports or the docks that uh, f different sorts of flying machines or things bring people into the city. So, I don't think that we could reasonably take a corpse in there. Yeah, we should probably pull off the road a little how ways old, and let you deal with this before we get to the city. How old is the corpse? Is it old enough that it's going to start smelling? Uh, it would definitely we should have be a couple of days. Well, I mean, it smells like a... Well, it's, it's going to smell like a corpse pretty quick. Right. It's going to like smell within like a window well, the, I think. You get the... Real uh, soon. The idea that it probably didn't smell that good before it died either. <laughs> Stable voice. Yeah, they probably don't smell very good. Yeah. Oh, no. This looks to be like... Poor, poor probably one of those. It probably is a kid from like one of the refugees that came in from the other town because they're like... They look not yeah. in great shape. I, I'm thinking we probably want to pull off the side of the road and let you go ahead and uh, clean the bones quickly. Bury, yeah, I... dispose of, convert, whatever. Yeah. I clean the bones and then I turn it into a skeleton dog. <laughs> With a child's head. Yep. Oh, it's got no skin, dude. How are you going to hide that? I'm not... <laughs> Oh, all right. I cool. mean, clearly yeah. it's a service animal. Yeah. There and they go. have Give to it. allow it. It's a distraction. It, it is a they, distraction. They you have to so. allow it. Yep. You now have, <laughs> have a uh, small child dog skeleton. When we get close, I'll have the two non-passable skeletons hide in the back of the cart. Okay. At this rate, he's smuggling us more than he's smuggling <laughs> his own goods. Yeah, yeah. Pay no mind to the undead dog boy, please. I have a plan for the undead dog boy and yeah. the spider. As you uh, are please. loading that into the cart, you just see, like, Gretch shuddering. Teen Wolf. <laughs> he's just shuddering. Hey, well, he's Gretch, just a higher basic Gretch, three necromancers. Gretch, yeah. <laughs> you got problems, Gretch? No, not saying anything. All right. Good. Us either. Da, 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 I da, probably want to talk. Doesn't mean I like it. Hey, Gretch, you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you followed me up there. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I started it. It's my fault. Not yeah. like this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you, uh, you prepare your skeleton kid. That probably takes like about an hour. I'd say. Yeah, we'll Just go with that. Prepping and casting the spell. So you're delayed a little bit, but uh, you're able to make it to the docks at around noon. And uh, well, That's you, an ideal time of day. Similar, you come over this hill and you see down into this big clearing area and it just looks like a mess of scaffolding and ramps and just all sorts of structures that are built up. Um, none look like they're housing or anything. They just are ramps and things to load different people or carts or stuff onto all sorts of different types of ships or flying creatures and things out into the water. Right. Well, it's okay. up, up into the air. So, so oh, up into the air. Yeah. This is like so just seeing... a flat clearing out in the middle of yeah. nowhere that ferries people up to this. Guy. Yeah. Seeing this first thing I want to do is ask Gretch, uh, are they going to search the cart? It's like, not if we meet the contact I'm supposed to. There's a particular fairy that we need to find, and once we find him, he's supposed to bring us up, okay. no questions asked. I assume we didn't have a contact in the last town then? No. No, his contact's here. This is where his goods are going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. He kind of softly encouraged us not to go to the last town. Yeah. He's like, nothing came uh, out of it, but... Uh, Except a dead kid, but you know. <laughs> Only you know, one. Only one. This isn't too bad. Not a dead kid, Joe. It could have been NPC. worse. It really could have. So let's find your contact and uh, let's get into this big floating city. Like, okay. I, I could uh, spend some time looking around if he wants us to. Mm -hmm. uh, I can disguise self. So. Sure. So, like, I uh, think, well, I'm going to watch you guys. Contact me. 
Yeah, if we got a contact to meet, let, let's get to it, get the job done, right. get paid, yeah. and then move on to better I mean, things. I think it's a matter of so finding I, the contact. I have some general information where he's got. I'm going to go find him. You guys stay, stay here. Stay Guard it. Okay. Not anyone good in it. For how sure. long? How long before we decide that things didn't go well with you? If I'm gone for more than an hour, leave. Or you got it. If I'm gone for more <laughs> than an hour, shit and go. Bring, bring the cart back to the port. Like okay. the, the first town. All right. Okay. Would you like a Conrad? Perhaps he can keep you <laughs> yeah. safe. Do you want to take Conrad with you? Still look at one. He's like, uh... take Conrad number eight. He's they the can't most normal. Please, <laughs> they can't talk. What okay, are you so tell here's him here's... to do. Follow you and guard you from harm. That could be so bad. He... Here's a more passive idea. How about I just send my... Sure. How about this? Follow you, and if you get into trouble, I will instruct it to run back to me. Well, like that's that what better. I was going to do with the hawk. I could just have the hawk keep an eye. Yeah, oh, let's just like... send the hawk. Yeah, let's do the yeah. hawk. Hawk's uh, yeah. 60 feet if... of movement, so it's going to yeah. move fast at flight. If yeah. it has I'll, to come I'll... back to you, it could lead trouble back to us. Right. Honestly, yeah. I don't trust Conrad number eight to run. So. <laughs> Hey, he's yeah. only good at clean, running possums. They're not reliable. I don't trust him either. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm fine with your hawk trailing me, though. All right, I'll 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 take an action, pop my hawk back out of its pocket dimension, and tell uh, uh, Disa to just kind of keep its distance, stay up high. It's got real sharp, keen vision, so it doesn't need to be close. Just keep mm-hmm. an eye on him and report back if anything goes wrong. All right, kind of right. Eight excels. He like at finding pulls his up a little bit and. Runs off with his little gnome yep. feet and <laughs> while into the we're waiting, mess. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm going to instruct Conrad number eight to brush over the horses and the oxen. Okay, there you go. I'll, uh, I'm going to break I'll out. I, I would like to ritual think that cast it's unseen a 50, 50 servant. Of whether he uses the right side of the brush. Yeah, I'll, I can I'll give him that instruction. Him. I like can to... walk him through it. <laughs> yeah. I'll ritual cast yeah. unseen servant and have him. Uh, okay. Keep us up too, because it's fun. So I'm yeah, gonna he just said it's probably uh, gonna take him a half hour to an hour to find lazy. this uh, this contact of his, and it like this port area does not look organized at all. It's just a bunch of scaffolding and random, just bustling chaos and all right. kinds of and stuff. It yeah. looks like, and they're all like different building themes and things. It kind of looks like every individual fairy person built their own dock in their own style for their own company, and they have their own businesses that ferry people back and forth. Everybody's got a thing. And yeah. uh, currently, the weather's pretty overcast, but you do see poking down through the clouds every so often, kind of like the bottom bit of what looks like a tower or bits of earth that are kind of floating. But you can just barely see the ends of it. Yeah, I'm going to lay up on top of the cart, uh, making sure not to lay directly on top of either of Conrad uh, 9 or 10. Give them mm-hmm. their space. You know, Don't want to crowd them. But uh, I'm going to produce a tiny flask on my person and just uh, kind of take a sip from it every once in a while. Get Stash least... it back in my pocket. We still have booze from that one town. So. Right. Oh, yeah, but I'm saving I'll... that for nighttime. I'll okay. give you all some strummins. There right. you go. Is there anything in particular you guys are wanting to do or just wait it out? I'm just waiting. Yeah, I mean, just wait it out. We're just waiting it out at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, until shit goes south or doesn't. Sure. I'm hoping to get paid. Right. So about 15, 20 minutes goes by. And uh, you see a pretty well-dressed guy, a uh, human start kind of walking out from the crowd of the, cause you guys are like sort of on the outside edge of the, all this chaos or whatever waiting. And you see a well-dressed person just start approaching the car. He's like, Hey, you guys needing ferried? No, we're good for now. We're waiting for a friend of ours to meet up with us. Sure. And we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll match or pay half of whatever or charge half of whatever they're charging. Get no, we're there. good, man. We're good. Get you up there quick. I'm can free I, right uh, now. We're I kind of want to inside him just so I can get a feel for him, if that's all right. Yeah. Sure. I'll keep up with the we're good getting slightly oh, less geez. friendly each time. Uh, an eight. Insight. He wants to help you guys out. He wants to um, 
Feriu claims that he will charge half of whatever anyone else is charging. I mean, we don't know what we're being charged. So what do you charge? So I'm pretty competitive. I've already met my quota for the day. What are you being charged by whoever's trying to? I don't know. I'm not the one in charge of the finances here. We got our, uh, our bosses out there working, uh, getting it arranged. So, but we might need some transportation later. We could relay for you. That's fair. I'm normally on the surface waiting for people to go up, but if you catch me while I'm up there, I can bring you down for cheap. That's very good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah. What, what's what's your name? Uh, How can we find you? Fenrir. Robert. Oh, okay. Who? What is it? Fenrir. Like Fenrir? Wolf. Mm-hmm. Fenrir? Uh, Fenrir. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kind of insight that as well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. You're, or what in particular are you inciting? Um, I'm trying to find out if he's just trying to swindle us because I mean that name that likely. name is awfully damn close to my name and it's it that is a familiar that is a familiar name to me. So I'm trying mm. to figure out what's going on here. I'm trying You're to figure out if he's detector. from the same place I'm from or if he's just kind of pulling at straws to try and swindle us. Right. Um with I'll kind of yell 20... out like where are you from, friend? I was like, oh, no, up north, but yeah, let's not talk about that. But so the insight that you get from him is he seems overly helpful. Uh, like he really wants like, you guys to Almost try and, desperately so. I mean, without a big check, he yeah. seems overly helpful. Right. I mean, but like he, yeah, he's definitely trying to convince you that he wants to ferry you instead of anyone else. Well, yeah, the guy the guy may have some idea of what that either what we're carrying in the wagon or maybe that just we're carrying something very valuable or secret. Whether irregardless, it's not our decision to make. Uh we'll have right. to consult with our boss. Your boss? Where's he at? I can talk to him. I'll do half of whatever the other guy's charging. Uh, not here <laughs> right now. Is where he's at. Well, we'll let him know when he gets back. All right. Well, I'll be over here at any points, and there's like a, a very neatly constructed dock. Like most of them, kind of thrown together, and his is like very precisely organized and built, kind of on the edge. So like, I'm over here in this one. So if you need ferried up, that's where I'll be. Look you up if the time comes. All right. And he'll like nod and walk off. And- You see, too, at uh, most of the the docks are, like, constantly sending different things up. Sometimes they're, like, flying beasts, and other times they're machines that have, like, propellers and balloons and things on them. There's all sorts of mechanical and biological I feel like it's fairing. worth asking, is his dock busy, comparatively speaking? No. His his means of transportation is mechanical and it's just sitting there docked idle. Yep. Okay. And you see him kind of, he doesn't walk over to it. He walks back into the crowd. So he's, he's looking for customers, right? Okay. Interdesting. Um, I may attempt to, uh, you know, if there's a crowd, mm-hmm. go out into the crowd and talk to some people and try to listen and see if they say anything about any of the transports. Anything about the transports? Oh, you went in particular. Uh, you know, it sounds like there's lots of different people who are right. in control of transporting people up. Yeah. You know, if there's a, a favorite, unfavored, rumors, etc. Okay. Um, you'll go through... And um, just do a do like an investigation roll for me. Sixteen. All right, so you're able to go through and just kind of mill about. It's not very uncommon for people to be like, "Hey, where's the best place to go get a ferry?" And you know, where are the you know those same questions are pretty commonly asked. So uh, as you're walking around, 
So people are like, oh, you know, stay away from this guy. There's a lot of like, you're getting a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of people saying, oh, I'm I sure fucking it's, hate it's this a, one. It's and mixed. As, yeah. But and then other people are like, that's oh, that's the real best life. one out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, but there's like, there's one or two that everyone's like, yeah, never fuck with that guy. He way overcharges. And I break stuff every time. Um, so there's a few like common consensuses. Uh, one thing you know, no one mentions him. Uh, Fenrir. At all. No one. Hmm. Hmm. You don't get uh, any reviews for him. Even if I specifically ask? You ask about him, they're like, oh, uh, I haven't never used him before. I, you either heard, I haven't used him before, or I don't know who he is. Okay, so he he's suspiciously uncommon. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I assume there's effort involved in putting a doc together and everything, but... right. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. It seems to be in pretty good condition. So either it was built like recently or it's just not used very much. Not used. All right. Well, I'll relay my findings. Okay. Come back. Uh, at least to the party. Right. You relay that to everybody. And it's been about a half hour at this point. Which means it's time for more wine because I'm bad. Anyone doing anything with that info? No, I'm waiting for the boss yeah. to show back up, right? That info yep. didn't affect that, did it? No. Nope. No, nope. it's just yeah. stuff to tuck away and no. All right. Uh, so another about five, ten minutes go by. So it's been about 40 minutes. And you see uh, Gretch return. And he's like hurriedly hustling towards you guys. Um, and your pot comes back with him. And he's like, okay, I found my contact. He's expensive but he's gonna get the job done so let's get the cart loaded up as, do we uh, want to suggest our discounted guy he's like discounted no. guy but some a guy came unknown up. rep you know unknown uh, reputation sure you like pitch that to him say that some guy came up and said half say half i mean some people are pretty pricey around here did you give any numbers he refused to give a number. He just said he would work with us. Hmm. And most other people don't seem to know him or have done business Not with just him. most. No one. We, we uh, reconnoitered a little bit. Mm-hmm. No one has heard of him. Weird. Um, I don't know if I trust that. Where's his yeah. doc at? Uh, we can... He point over to it. He's like... That's like a new dock and like I wasn't there last time I was here and that's a new transport ship so not not to tell you how to do your business but because your business is yours he thinks about it for a little bit and you can see him starting to do like some numbers in his head moves a little mental <laughs> abacus yeah <laughs> he's thinking about it for a little bit it's a hamster running in place just, just want to let you know if you save some coin by taking our suggestion, you know, yeah, got to pay so it forward. Split the difference. Well, the guy's <laughs> charging me fifteen hundred to go up. So half of that's tempting for sure. I don't know if he'll be able to do half of that. And as your guys are kind of talking about this, you see uh, Fenrir kind of poke his way out of the crowd and start walking back over. And he's like, "Oh, you guys are still here? Having difficulties finding your ride up?" Now we got a ride. Oh, really? Just discussing some other business matters. Is it pricey? I'll do half. Met my quota already for the day. Decide if you are worth the price. Oh, I'm I really want to insight him. Is your ride as good as a full price ride? Well, uh, I'd, I'd be more interested in is he trustworthy enough to respect our privacy? Well, that's what I mean. Is your ride as good as full price ride? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're asking that inciting yes please that's why you guys can't hear me i'm still oh fucking my muted God. Six. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'm, not, I'm just gonna it. unmute it i haven't noticed that you're yeah i was there flapping my gums i was just gonna say i'll say that they're doing it for a thousand oh, oh there you go <laughs> see if you'll oh. have a thousand i should have done that thousand. instead deception and said good right. god yeah. So, yeah. yeah you don't really get anything out of them he's Seems to be. I mean, I could still lie too. Uh, You say, 
that they're doing it for a thousand. Give me that deception check. Yeah. Or is whoever's doing that. I am. Ah, Poorly. Yeah. I could do that. That's check. a 17. That's I that's said it. I got to do the deception check. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, I mean, you could like be, you could like elbow someone and be like, tell them this. And then they would do this. Oh. Gu- guidance is always a nice thing before a deception check. Right. Yeah. Uh, 17. You feel I mean, like that's he kind of buys it. Like, you throw out like, well, we've got a guy doing it for a thousand. He's like, man, a thousand. That's that's kind of steep, but I'll, I'll do five hundred. You need up? I'll ask Gretch. Like, this is your call. You are the business man. You are the boss. If anything goes wrong, Volo will break his spine, and we will be safe. <laughs> 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 Scratch is like, I'm supposed to use him, but he's, they didn't tell me how. They didn't tell me it was going to be 1500. I don't have that much right now. That's, I mean, I do, but that's like, that's way more than I was prepping. 500s, pretty good. And then you see him like kind of mulling over that. And then Gretch goes over and is like, he said 500, really, to ferry me up there. And um, he's like, yeah, absolutely, 500. I've already met my quota for the day, so I'm just trying to get some extra business and maybe beat some people out of another, you know, friendly competition. And Gretch is like... Your quota is zero? <laughs> Do you say that to him? Yes. <laughs> he's like, zero? I've, I had a, a few today. Um. It doesn't sound very convincing on that, but <laughs> why do you not seem to have two Shall many customers? Shall break his spine now? <laughs> no, I, I want to ask him why he doesn't seem to have too many customers. Oh, you know, I'm new, just starting out. Not many people know my name yet, but when you know, whenever I get a customer, they always come back. So, do they? When did you have one? Last? I mean, God, I keep <laughs> failing on my insights, but I want to keep rolling it. It's another thing, so. That's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, it's even worse. Jesus, Jesus oh Christ, God. Dan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Joe, I'm going to... Uh, I mean, like, I'm a wholesale on board with this guy. I'm eating everything he's selling me. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to yell out to this guy uh, 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 and try and kind of insight some some more from him. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell out, Fandi. I mean, just just because is, you're uh, failing, your insight doesn't necessarily mean that you believe him. It just means that I'm not going to tell you he's lying. If uh, yeah, lying. I mean. That, that's pretty I much all the insight no... does. Like Insight, if you roll high enough to be a DC, I will give you confirmation. Yes, he's lying. Yes, nor no, he's not. Yeah, you I mean, can still do whatever you want with the information I'm telling you. He might just be new. I mean, like, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm willing to yell give out him to the him. benefit of the doubt. I'm going to yell out to him, Frandi, which is is Old Norse for for like friend or relative, something like that. And I'm and I'm going to kind of just see how he reacts and 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 approach him to discuss. You know, just say, hey, look, you know, person to person. Uh, yeah. You know, I, you got to tell me. You're you say you're maybe from up north. I mean, that's. Uh, are, his are, eyes light up from, a little bit when you use that word. He's like, "Oh yeah." Are you? I, I mean, what's what's your story? And I'm I'm gonna go ahead and roll the insight just so I can kind of listen to his reaction. Twenty six. Holy shit! Jesus, <laughs> I've made three rolls and I don't think any of them added up to even twenty six. <laughs> yeah. So I'm basically just trying to determine if he's if he's telling me the truth, if he's if he's trustworthy about his story. Yeah. As a matter of fact, eight six five. Does not add to twenty six. <laughs> oh so you do this, and he's like, uh, he he acts a little bit weird when you um, say out that word. You're you're kind of getting the hint that he might be from sort of the same area as you, uh, or at least nearby. Some of his features kind of match, and um, so you use that that term with him. His eyes light up, and then his tone shifts a little bit, though. He's like. Oh, uh, I've been, I don't know, I'm kind of new here trying to get some clients and things, but I uh, haven't, haven't made a few, or as many as I'd like, but, you know, enough to keep the, keep the cash going in, net gains and all that. Uh, but what do you want to know? 
I, I just said I'm, I'm just super surprised to find somebody from from even close to home down this far south. And I thought I was one of the few people to to be traveling this far. So to oh, run into yeah. somebody is kind of surprising. Well, I mean, a lot of us kind of left that area. It's you know, not a whole lot to do up there, I guess. So. It is very boring. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's a good word for it. This place looks much more interesting. Oh, absolutely. I've had plenty of work to do since I've been here. Uh, but, you know, trying this ferry thing's a little different, but it'll work out. I meet my quotas. Well, I, you know, is there, you know, is there anything that, that I, you know, I, they're going to decide whatever they decide. We're just contracted to help him travel along it's not really our decision what he wants to do but he hired you guys is there something he hired us yeah is there anything around here that you know i mean you have a so, very tidy looking so this area is his cargo this is his cargo okay we're just we're just the hired help so not we don't make the decisions and he, like, we're just he points kind of, at the gnome he's like that one yep the gnome is in charge okay awesome yeah i'd um, like to talk to him I am <laughs> suspicious of this in particular. He seems, you know what he seems like? He seems like a car salesman type guy. He is I, very I, determined to get the sale. <laughs> no, I'm actually in particular suspicious of this. Oh, of the whole thing that we're doing? No, the, that guy. This one, yes. That one. The, the affirmation. Yeah, he's really interested in knowing exactly who it belongs to. Yeah, uh, which that, I don't that know affirmation that I, so, right there. So, Joe, do I get anything off of him that seems like he's hiding something for me or, or lying to me? Or was it all pretty genuine what he said? Um, so he wasn't lying about making ends meet, but you seem confused that he's not making any business with his ferry. Yeah. That's about yeah. what you're getting out of it. Like, you can tell he's like, yeah, I'm making enough. I'm making my quotas. And you can tell that's not a lie the way he's saying it. But... The way that he's implying that it's from the ferrying is kind of strange to you. Like that doesn't seem yeah. to make sense. Like he's getting so his may, quota from maybe something he's, else. Maybe he's got some off the books uh, cash flow going. Right. Well, I'll, I'll kind of lean into him a little bit and just say, "Hey, look, you know, from 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 a fellow traveler, you know, from uh from up north, you know, if there's something that you need some help with, you know, another job or something like that that you need." I don't know, some extra hands for or something like that. You know, this we're pretty much at the end of this job, always looking for something interesting to do. Hmm. We've got some skills, we've got some some utility at our disposal. So, you know, always looking at always looking to help another northerner. This job. You were hired to to bring him here? We were hired to bring him here. And we well, we've done a little more than that. Way. We're here a little to more than that, but yeah. Delivered. Yeah, hmm. we we were hired to assist him in delivering his goods, start to finish. It's uh, pretty dangerous out here this time of uh, well, past few years. Yeah, we've run into a little bit of trouble on the way here, but nothing we couldn't handle so far. Yeah, it's been a, a little bit more quiet on the on the ground out here since all that stuff's been going on. But I bet we'd still yeah, need to come passed... in through a dock that don't want to come in through other means. I get that impression. Have you had much uh, much experience with moving goods that are uh, needing to remain private, shall we say? Uh, I get my fair few clients. I try not to dabble into too much about all that. Okay. What uh, about you? Do you know about anyone that's possibly doing that? Well, I, you know, like I said, I'm not the one in charge, but uh, give me give me a minute here, and I'll uh, have a word with our uh, temporary boss here. Oh, sure. And I'll walk I'll walk back over to the cart and just say, "Hey, look, the guy seems to be, you know, genuine about, you know, running a business and uh, possibly being amenable to some off the books, uh, no questions asked business, but uh, um, something doesn't something doesn't add up. He's he's after he's, hearing he's definitely not making money for that from this that last exchange i am thoroughly convinced this guy is a fucking cop could be let's listen i'm gonna tell fucking gretch fuck this dude we're gonna get busted 
let's go to your contact because we know it's safe. We'll see That's if we can negotiate a better, a better price. I'm I'm not even. Let's we're, oh, we're no. risking the biscuit right here. Price. With who? Gretch's contact? Gretch's contact. Okay. okay. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, right. I'll uh, I'll walk back and uh, I'll walk back over to the gentleman and just say, hey, uh, you know, sorry, it's not my decision. Boss says he's already got somebody lined up and they're going to be offended if we don't use them. As you're um, saying, but, this you know, guy like looks past you and s- staring at the gnome. Is I'm that... sure he is. I'm going to go up to this talking. dude. I'm going to go up to this dude. I'm going to tell him to fuck off right now. Whoa, don't need to be so hostile, my man. Just trying Walk to, away. Just trying to get a get a deal going Walk on out here. away. And you are? The person no telling one. you to walk away. And you see, he like kind of looks at you and looks you up and down. Taps right there and then turns around and starts walking back to his dock. Take a mental picture. All right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I wish I had a good spell to tell what he was thinking, but I didn't take yeah, one. Yeah, so. I'm real curious That's about fine. that. But yeah. Oh, well, yeah. let's go figure this we'll thing out. We'll kill him later. Delivered. Let's get this fucking shit delivered. Okay. So um, Gretch is like, I, I don't like the sound of that. This, We can't be messing with people like that. I know this guy that I was sent here for is good. If not yeah. expensive. <laughs> hey, that I, we <laughs> we should make sure and let them know that we had a price for five hundred to get up yep. there. Uh, yeah, let's listen, see if we can talk, uh, talk your contact down a little. I right. am. I don't know. Like, I'm not super enthusiastic about trying to negotiate this price because we are paying for the service of delivering illegal goods into the town. You can't negotiate that. It's a fucking take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me. that's the well, lawful evil speaking, right? I there. feel like we <laughs> yeah. should leave it up to <laughs> the, our <laughs> boss. Yeah, I'm gonna leave he it wants up to us Gretch. try and talk Whatever him down. He wants to do mm-hmm. if he it's his money. If he wants to try and talk him down, we'll try it. But what well, Eddie, you're kind of disappearing in your background there. <laughs> Theron's sleeping. <laughs> there, no, yeah, he's I gone. Keep, I keep drifting off, man. I can't handle the one o'clock stuff anymore. Yeah, it's okay, man. We're, we're about yeah. done, I think. I think we're close. We're getting pretty close, yeah. Sorry. All right. Anyway, let's get to the contact. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Gretch leads you through. You guys have pretty much blown him off. Not taking up Fenrir's offer. And uh, you don't really run into him. As uh, Gretch leads you through the all the crazy winding paths that have been made because it's not really like a town it's just there's paths that are spaces between just all these a mess docks. yeah and brings you over and there's one that's kind of like small surrounded by all these gigantic docks that's way tucked back there and uh there's a shady looking uh what are those called the the like raven looking people What's the name of those? Uh, Bird person. Harvey Birdman. Harvey Birdman. Attorney at law. I know Uh, what you're talking about, Joe. Hang on. It's just like a K. It's like Ken Folk or something like that, I think. Uh, Uh, Eric Cochran, I believe they're called. The what? No, no, not those. Uh, So those those are like the eagle people. This is like the raven type people. Oh, no. uh, Kinku. Kenku, yeah. Uh, Yeah, yeah. So uh, you see a Kenku uh, kind of hooded in similar attire to uh, what Gretch is wearing. And uh, he's kind of slumped up against the scaffolding of one of the bigger docks right next to him, waiting for you guys to appear. He's like, ah, this is the cart. Yes. (laughs) It is a cart. (laughs) All right. Yeah. It is the um, only cart we have. <laughs> he's gonna like, kind of lift up his hand. He's like, "Are you ferrying all these people up too? That's gonna cost you extra, there, Gretch." No, it won't," says Volo. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Gretch is like, I, "I'm not. I'm not paying for them. Sorry, you guys were just paid to get me here. Like, that, once I get loaded on this dock, you're getting paid." Cool. Oh, okay. 
We're good. Yeah. We're good. Uh, this... We need to get uh, Conrad's nine and ten off the cart. I got a plan the for them. <laughs> it's true. Let them go the wild. We're just gonna send them up with him in the cart yes. and let them go uh, feral later. Via con Dios. <laughs> Pasta la vista, bitches. <laughs> a gift from us to you, our temporary employer mm -hmm. and soon to be uh widower. <laughs> uh do I have like a bag or a sack or some shit on me? Um I mean you have your backpack, but I imagine it's kind of full of adventuring gear. Yeah. So so getting here is the goal then. Yeah, your goal yeah. is to just get him to the dock safely without anyone seeing what's in his cart i mean i guess that's success either way at this point yeah right as long as we get our money and he said like once he's for sure going up and loaded onto this dude's platform and you know transactions been made that's when i mean West complete, whether, you're getting paid whether it costs him more or not i guess it doesn't matter to us right i mean can't deny yeah. we tried to make a little coin off of it but even yeah, that seemed too scabbed he's getting he was, paid he was pretty uh, almost leaning towards doing that. But uh, you guys kind of convinced him not to do that. It just, uh, I mean, Fenrir did seem shady. It was probably the right decision. It seemed too skept even for us, which is skept as fuck. Right. He was like, you guys coming up or not? It's going to be, I don't know, they're 200 per person. No, we're not. Nah, nah, nah. not us. All right. Lots well, to do up there. Well, we Let's can always it. go over to the budget guy. Uh, no, <laughs> we can't. I've burned that. I've burned that. Oh, yeah, I guess you did piss him off. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're technically after a necromancer in this area, correct? No, no. that was the other party. Yeah. Yep. You have nothing we're to not do with this that. necromancer. No, we, okay, sorry. I, I, for some reason, had in my mind that we were also after them at this point. Yeah. No. Any, nope. Anything else we're doing here is just shits and giggles. Whatever no, nope. the only like. contract you had was to... Get this thing delivered here. We could always well, bring the horses back. No, or, or not. We could, we could sell the horses. Mm -hmm. Or eat the horses. Hey. I feel like selling them and eating something better than horse would be better than that. Hey, I mean, sometimes you get desperate. Just saying. All right. Well, time to get your stuff loaded on the cart. You guys want to Yeah. Help? Or unloaded from the cart. Yeah. yeah, what are we doing with Conrad's 9 and 10? Uh, leaving them on the cart. Ah, okay, so we are going to send them up. I'm just going to see if dude fucking remembers. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't, it's on him at this yeah, point. Yeah, let's push the He's, fucking thing on the, on the trolley or whatever like it is. seems like really frazzled and uncomfortable, and he's like sweating profusely this whole time he's been there. And he's also frustrated at how expensive this is. And he's just muttering under his breath. He's Do you want to maybe rescind your previous command to guard the cart and just tell him, hey, lay low? I'll think about it. Cool. I want to get I'm paid first, and then I will decide what I'm going to do with them. That's 100% so you at that point. Yeah. So if we help them load the cart, are, are those things going to react to us, or are you telling them to leave us alone at least? We haven't well, got under the we cart. Just, we just got to get the cart onto the platform, right? Yeah. I right. Think there's so. no physical looking, labor here. Not, well, we still have to move the cart. That's what I was thinking. But we're not. But, we're but I'm not looking under the tarp still. or doing anything with it. Yeah. 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 So, Joe, what's happening? Are they getting on the cart? Yeah. So he's like, yeah, if no one else is coming up, and then reload the cart back up. I'm not taking the oxen, yeah. though. We'll, we'll keep a hold of those. Have fun. All right. Bitches. So, uh, starts leaving the cart up. There's like a small ramp, and there's kind of this machine platform, uh, like a wooden panel, and then some balloons attached on uh, two ends of it. It's kind of like a balloon, and then two, like, triangle tethers coming down to the corners of it. And uh, he starts loading it on. It sags pretty heavily once uh, the cart gets loaded on and then the oxen step off. Looks like that cart was crazy heavy. With super suspect goods. Yeah. But we don't know, so... Eh. Gretchen comes back over to you guys. He's like, well, uh, 
appreciate you uh, getting this here, I guess. And uh, might run into each other again, might not. I don't know. So the next job, he does this and then uh, pulls from his person five money bags, each with 400 gold. Oh, nice. Yeah. Each? Yes. Yeah. I feel like I, I should ask him in all seriousness, though. What do you got? What he got? <laughs> you can or... you can tell us. Yeah, the job's <laughs> over now. So what do you got in those crates? <laughs> but now... I mean, we're interested in your work. Wink, wink. All I'm going to say is uh, you might want to wait a while to come here. You're going to well, blow shit up, a, assuredly. Have a good day. Oh, uh, and oh here's oh, this. Let's get to uh, a safe distance and watch some fireworks. He, uh, <laughs> he uh, also pulls from his pack a... Uh, as you ask him that, he's also like just sweating profusely. He pulls a leather-bound box and hands it to you guys. It's like, uh, here's your next job if you want it. And steps onto the platform. He's also going up? Yeah, he's writing it up. Okay, so it probably won't blow up when he gets there, so... No, probably not. Or maybe maybe it will, I don't know. He's 1,500 gold, gold to blow oh, myself right. up? This is bullshit. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, What's no, in next the box? Time. Oh, oh cliffhanger. Next time. Cliffhanger! <laughs> Dang it, because I was about to give a command to the other two. Oh, really? What was it? Gonna be? Yeah. The other two, which? Conrads. The other two Conrads, okay. That are still on the cart, yeah. I'll make a note of that for next yeah. time. Yeah. It's like 115, so. Yeah, remember that for next time, because I got to. Because they're still in range. Yeah, they are. So the other two are still on, on the cart. Yep. And Gretch Pretty is, much. Gretch is like. Like almost shutting down from stress right now. Yeah. So you get the ideas. He's like, I just need to get the car loaded, dead, dead paid. And I'm done. Like, that's what's going through his head right now. He's Gretch probably doesn't know anything. Yeah. The poor soul. You said it's balloons lifting this thing up into the air? Uh, it's balloons attached to it, and then there's propellers above those. Okay. Balloons with beanies. Yeah. Neat. Tasty. So, noting Chuck has questions. Chuck's Conrad's on cart. Mm -hmm. Cart on ferry. Hey. Ferry about to explode. Was just given leather box yeah i'm gonna know chuck's conrads are on cart may want to act yeah they're gonna bring that motherfucker down depends oh, no. on if i like the job that's in the leather box right Yeah, you we get don't the know. you get the sense that he's like prepping, so it's not gonna immediately just take off in the next second. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cart rats. Yeah. All right. Well, that'll cut it for tonight. It's a good first night, first four sessions of uh, the new campaign, the Hollow Throne. Yes. The shenanigans. Shenanigans, <laughs> indeed. There are yeah. going to be so many shenanigans. Had some combat, yeah. avoided murdering an entire town. Uh, Only barely. <laughs> spare that one kid. And uh, yeah, overall a solid night. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for sticking around, even though it went a little bit late. But yeah, we'll be we, back. We here violated with this the, game. the the principles of Fallout. Right. We'll be back uh, here yeah. with this game in two weeks on the whatever day that is the the sixth or no, no the fifth fifth, fifth of friday the so yeah fifth. we'll be back well some of us will be tomorrow or tonight saturday the 23rd 
on twitch.tv slash Zweihander RPG as I run uh, an adventure for the Grim and Perilous people. I'm off. We're tomorrow. doing that tomorrow, right? I'm so well, disappointed. Today. Oh, yeah, today. Then Monday, uh, Dan, Joe, and I will be playing Heart over on the Lollygaggers. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, we'll be here playing the DCC funnel that Joe's coming up with called Secure Protect Contain or Secure, secure contain, contain Protect. Or just yep. SCP. An SCP. SCP themed funnel. Funnel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This coming Friday, we got Zweihander over on twitch.tv slash Zweihander RPG. Mm-hmm. And then next Saturday, we'll be here back on Defenders of Cobalt with some more Dark Trails. Busy awesome. schedule. Lots yep. of content. Lots Sounds of shit. Good. Hell yeah. All right. Well, everyone have a good night. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll goodbye. See you next time. Adios. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Au revoir.